can build relationships. Companies will be coming and doing presentations there, and you can meet different potential employers. And then once you've got a job, there's a co-working space, right, where you can then work remotely and so forth, right? This is an example of the type of perk that you could get. So one of the cool things that we're also doing in the room is allowing you to earn points towards these cool perks, right? So we have this thing called legacy points, where every time you do something cool, you participate, you show up to an event, you log into the app, you create your profile right on the portal so that we have the information so we can help you get a job. You know, you tell us that you've got a job because remember, MasterCard Foundation wants to know whether the investment is working. They're investing in you to get a job. So if you don't tell us that you've got a job, we can't let them know that and they can't understand the impact and we can't understand the impact and, and you cannot play your role in the moonshot that we're talking about to create 2 million work of change by 2030. So you have to tell us when you find a job, right? And all of these gives you points, right? Uh, maybe you share a job opportunity that you found, you know, on with someone else, you get points, right? You, you, you create some content, uh, you host a masterclass, you get points. And then you can cash in those points for cool things. These are examples, right? Don't, 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 don't hold us to this, but these are examples of cool things that we might it's a surprise. Who knows? Maybe one day you'll get some burner boy tickets, right? And if you've got so many points, you can cash it in and you can go for a concert, right? Or you might be uh, getting a room hoodie or maybe you get a Samsung iPhone. These are just examples, right? So the, there's lots of cool perks that will always be negotiating and finding. And then as you have your legacy points, you can go in and you can cash them in and you can get these cool perks, right? And this is one of the cool ways in which you get you access some of the perks uh, that are in the room, right? So um, we're soon going to go to questions, right? I'm seeing lots of questions are coming up, right? But before we do that, I want to be very clear. I've shared a lot about how the room will support you, but... This is a two-way street. It's a partnership, as I mentioned in the beginning. So what do we expect from you, right, in order for you to participate in this thing and to be able to benefit from what is it, right? Here are some things that we expect from you. Number one, we expect you to keep the room updated with your career progress, right? We need to know where you are. You need to let us know if you're open for jobs, if, you're, if, you're, if you've lost a job, if you're looking for a new job, so we can support you. Right, and uh, if you found a job, you need to tell us no, so that we can report to Mastercard, and we can all see how exciting we are, how how we're doing towards this goal of two million jobs. Right, we want you to show up and do what you say you're going to do. Africa has a lot of fly by night people, a lot of talkers, and not enough doers. If we are putting our reputation in, online and we're saying members of the room are top talent, and we're connecting you to an interview, we're helping you find a great job, you can't embarrass us. You need to show up and put your best foot forward show up on time, deliver, work hard, all that stuff, right? You need to perform in the job. Because again, we're telling the world that the room has special talent. They do work, they were hard work, they're, they're, they're committed. If you go and you don't do that, then you're not, you know, you're really living up to, to the values of the room and to the, to the brand of the room and you can lose your, your, your membership and your fellowship, right? It's also a place where we want you to respect others. We have people from all kinds of backgrounds. We want people to belong. So we, we expect you to show respect to your fellow members. And finally, control your own future. As I mentioned, this is not a guarantee. We're not guaranteeing your job. We're not guaranteeing you anything. That you are not entitled to anything in the world. You are therefore have to put in your bit. For example, to get a job, you have to apply to hundred places. So if you just apply to five, you're not going to get a job, right? You can say, "Well, the room promised me a job." No, there's no promises. There's no guarantee, right? We're doing our bit to support, but you have to do your bit as well. So that's why this is what we expect from you um, to, be, to be a successful fellow. So I just described what the full fellowship would be like. But today, most of you are not full fellows yet. You're either going through the training program with ALX, um, um, and some of you may not finish the training programs, right? Because not everyone has is able to, to finish the training programs. The good news is that you can be a, an affiliate fellow, right? An affiliate fellow, you're not is you means you're you're not a full fellow yet, right? There's a fellow, full fellow, but you have an affiliate fellow. So the minute you join ALX and you start going to training programs after the first week, if you finish at least the first week, you can become an affiliate fellow. What does an affiliate fellow have access to? You have access to the community portal. So you can see all the content, the master classes, you know, some of the, the cool um, lifelong learning events that are happening there. You can see all that. 
right? You can participate in the legacy points program, right? So you can start earning points and, uh, you know, getting, um, uh, starting to, to, to really build up uh, uh, so that you can eventually access some cool things. You can access the master classes and you can access the learning content, right? So this is what, as a affiliate fellow, from day one, you can start to participate. But let me, let me be clear about what you do not get access to as an affiliate fellow. You do not get access to the Pathfinder. That person is going to help you navigate your career. You do not get access to the spaces. And you do not get access to being on our job board so that we can advertise you to employers. Only if you do certain things to become a full fellow can you get access to those things. To become a full fellow, you need to finish the course. You need to finish the virtual assistant program. You need to finish the financial analyst program. You need to finish the software engineering program. And you need to pass it, <laughs> right? And then if you do that, we will put you on our platform and start advertising you. And we will give you access to the spaces. We will give you access to the Pathfinder, right? So you too. So there's some things you have to do to become a full fellow, right? And if, for example, you drop out of the course, um, or you finish it, but you don't pass it, there's still a chance for you to become a full fellow. How? By getting a job, right? So if you go and find a job, and there'll be, and it's not just any job, we'll give you some criteria about the kind of jobs. It must earn above a certain amount. It must be a, you know, not just a two-day job, right? It must be a, you know, a job that we, we deem has some level of sustainability. It's either a full-time job or a long-term part-time job. We need to see the offer letter. We need to prove and validate that you've got a job. Then you can also become a full fellow. Right, and then we can then help you with the rest of your career. Right, so there are certain ways that you can still become a fellow even if you drop out and even if you you don't uh, pass. But um, if you want access to become a fellow, all the benefits that I talked about earlier, you need to finish the training program, you need to pass it, and then you need to complete your profile, right, and do certain other things in order before you can become a full fellow. But the good news is that you can become an affiliate fellow from day, you know, from already from from today, right? So here are some of the steps that you need to take to become an affiliate. You need to read all the email communications that's being sent to you, attend the information session, which is what you're doing right now. You're going to complete, you need to then complete the program, right? And, and graduate. Then you have to complete your work profile, which is the, the platform that I shared with you earlier, right? So that you can, um, we can, you can be seen and, and we can start to support you to, to, to get jobs and everything. You need to attend your graduation. And then you have to apply for fellowship and take a test. Then you have to log into the portal and create your profile. Uh, and then eventually attend a community town hall. And then finally, once you know, uh, you know, uh, you can also attend an in-person event in your city. Right. So I want to stop there and take some questions um, before we then move on to the final part of the presentation. Let's take some questions um, that have come in. I see lots of questions. People have raised their hands. Um, and uh, Gavin, what are some of the questions that are coming in? Uh, there are some general ones, but basically, um, you talked about a lot of them were answered as you were going along, you know, what is things, when do I get to join, um, there's general questions to you as well, <laughs> uh, how do you handle challenges in your career, um, I've just been looking through trying to find something that's particularly for the room that hasn't been answered already. Let me, let me, let me. Let me scroll through and pick some of these questions. I see. Yeah, it's mostly. What advantages can we get from being part of the room at the end of the program? I think if you haven't captured that from this presentation, then I mean you haven't been listening. Um, uh, and then I see. Hey, Alex, how many current graduates have received a successful job through the room? I see. We track that data all the time. Um, just hold on. Yeah, there are so far, I think it's about almost four thousand people. I see ALX helps you yep. do hard. I'd like to know if after graduation you begin opportunities to do an internship like placement system where VA without nurse training the room can enter. Um, so yes, the room will be supporting you and we will be marketing you as you can see from the platform that I shared so that you can find opportunities like internships and full-time jobs, but you will not be given anything, right? So I want to be clarified from Felix Osek before, that's a Ghanaian, right? ALX helps you do other things. I'd like to know if after graduation you'll be given an opportunity to an internship. No, you'll not be given an opportunity. You'll be given a chance to apply, but you have to earn it yourself. You have to go for the interview, show up, you have to do well, and then you know, and then we can't control whether the employer will give you the internship or not, right? So you're going to 
um, have to, not, nothing is being given to you on a silver platter. I want to be clear about that. We are not giving you anything. You're not guaranteed anything. You have to put in your effort. We're going to be there to support you. We're trying to help you, but you have to do your part, right? You're not guaranteed anything. Um, I see from Russian, how do we handle challenge in your career? Well, one of the things that probably the most effective way I've handled all challenges in my career has been having a great supportive network among peers, people that, that I knew, uh, or having mentors or having guides. And that's why what we're trying to... But I struggled to do all that on my own. One by one, I built relationships. I built to create a support network. What we're trying to do with the room is to help accelerate that, right? To create a platform where you've got each other to support each other. And you've got people like Pathfinders and, you know, tech platform and all these things that can help you to hopefully handle some of the challenges that, that you know. So we're learning from many of the things that we didn't have and we're trying to support you. But again, um, there's no guarantees. I see a question from Josu and Dodo. When will the room arrive in French-speaking countries and start buying French talents too? Because I have friends with whom I shared ALX names so that they couldn't do it because they're in English. Won't room also do in French one day? Very good question. Um, we do um, plan to begin moving into some Francophone countries and offering some Francophone training programs. Uh, and so watch out. You'll start to see some of that coming soon. But unfortunately for now, we are only focused in English um, because that's where we're getting started, but it's not where we're ending. We will eventually offer um, some uh, programs. Um, there's, a qu there's a few questions about age, age limits and age restrictions. Um, they kind of got upvoted. There are no age um, uh, to being a member of uh, um, the the room we are working for young people well so there's an there's an upper age limit there's no younger lower age limit. if you are 17 and you can pass the program you know you can join and become a software engineer we're happy to help you get a job already at that age if you're um we, we, this is however focused on young people so there's probably an upper age limit i think it's about 35 right where master card wants to create work options for young people, young Africans. So if you are 40 or 50, unfortunately, the room is not for you, <laughs> right? This is for young Africans. Um, and so there's an upper age limit, but there is really no no, no, um, no uh, age limit. Quite a few uh, questions about the different hubs and the locations. Uh, and and I'll, I'll, well, you talked a bit about it, uh, but there's quite a few about which cities we're going to and, and how, how that looks. We're not, so the, the, the hubs will not be everywhere. We're starting in certain places and then we're going to go. The, the, we're starting in the big cities uh, in, uh, you know, in uh, East Africa, North Africa, West Africa, and Southern Africa. So in Southern Africa, Johannesburg, Cape Town, uh, you know, we'll have uh, the first the first, the first first hubs. Uh, we might then later on add in like a Harare or something like that. East Africa, Kenya, so Nairobi, Kigali, um, and then, uh, you know, Kampala will be places where you'll start to see hubs. We already actually have an LG hub in Kampala. Uh, and then in North Africa, Morocco, Egypt, uh, and, uh, and then Tunisia will have hubs. And then uh, in, in West Africa, um, Nigeria, obviously Lagos, Abuja, some other Nigerian cities later on, and then uh, Ghana. Uh, and then you'll start to, when we start going into Francophone countries, Ivory Coast, Senegal will be some of the places that will be there as well, right? So these are the places where you can expect to see the hubs. Initially, then we'll start maybe opening some other spaces, right? Um, so um, those are the... There's a couple of financial questions. Oh, there's two particular ones that keep coming. There's one about if if I find a if the room connects me to a job, do the employer pay them directly, and or do I get paid by the employer? And how does that work? There are two models. Sometimes the employer will just take you straight onto their team, uh, and they'll pay you directly. And you know, um, we don't have anything to do with that. In other cases, you will work through the room. The employer does. Some employees don't want to have a contract with their talent directly because they don't want they don't have legal presence in certain African countries and they don't have the support infrastructure like the spaces and the mentorship and the coaching that we can give. So they say no, and we will outsource the talent through you, and then they hire the contract. Contract is with the the room, and then then they pay us, and then we pay you, right? Um, and uh, um, I see. 
do I have to do all the courses to become a full fellow? Uh, you have to pass all the courses, yes. <laughs> uh, and you need to finish the program to become a full fellow or get a job that meets our requirements, right? So if you don't do all the courses and you don't finish the program, then you have to get a job, but we will send you requirements about what exactly um, that means. And then, and then that's the, so those are the two pathways to become a full fellow. Go through the full thing, pass it, you know, and, uh, and, and, uh, and then you can refer or you, you get a job. The second half of the financial question is, uh, kind of, there's a lot of questions about will other, what other costs will there be to me once I become a fellow? Uh, will I have to pay a commission to the room? Uh, do I have to pay for events? Um, basically, what other costs will there be once I become a fellow and join the room? Great question. So the room, the way we are financing the room, you might be saying, well, how can I get access to all these perks and the lifelong learning and all that stuff? So um, let's put it this way. The peer support, like being on our tech platform and being advertised to employers and this money we're spending to, to, to attract employers to come and learn about you uh, and having access to a pathfinder, all those things do not come at a cost to you. These are investments that we're making and support that we're making. So same thing with some, some much of the lifelong learning. Again, like some of the courses that you're going through right now, you're not paying for them upfront. Uh, we will uh, also continue to offer additional courses like you did the basic software engineering, you want to do cloud, you don't have to pay for that, right? There are some, however, where maybe they're not being offered by us where you would have to pay because it's, some, it's a third party. What we try to do is we negotiate discounts. Right, like with that invited MBA that I told you about, the regular price might be three thousand, but we find we're able to do a deal that if a fellow in the room, you can maybe only pay a thousand, right, or five hundred. We can negotiate some of those things on your behalf so that you can have cheaper courses and, and scholarships and things like that for other programs that are not offered by us. Um, and then again, if you have access, if you are able to get a job um, and you are using our co-working space. Um, there will be no cost to you for all those things. How then do we pay for all this? Well, the way we pay for all this is we charge the employers, right? So we charge the employers, we don't charge you. We charge employers a fee to access. If they want to hire you, they have to pay us a fee. Or if they um, uh, they hire you through us, they pay us, and then we pay you and we take the margin, right? And that is how we pay for all this. That's, again, that's how we pay for you to get the free edu education and that's how we pay for the spaces that's how we pay for the pathfinders that's how we pay for all the lifelong learning the career support we charge the employers right so that's the way this is working we are um looking and the more we're able to get employers to pay and the more we get them to invest in in, in the room Because 50% of people who start application don't even finish it, right? Then 50% of people who start the application finish it and then get accepted into the room. And then 50% of the people who start the, the training courses don't even finish the training courses. And then those people who finish the training courses, only a bunch of them pass it. So by the time you go through all those stages and end in the room, you're typically in the top 5%, right? So the question is, are you going to be one of those 50% who drops out? Or who doesn't finish the training course, or who doesn't finish the application, or are you going to be one of those five percent who eventually makes it to the end? And only those that are put in the platform, and that's really up to you. So that's how <laughs> you become either part of the top five percent or you don't. It's up to you. There's a series of questions that are kind of personal to you, and I think it's a great one because this is such a tough course. And um, they're about uh, the hashtag do hard things. But a lot of you are asking, what advice personally can you give from your experience of how do you keep going? How do you push through? How do you get to that 5%? How do you, what, from your own experience? And how did you come up with that time to do hard things? Great motivator. Yeah, I mean, the, the, I really came to that term about doing hard things from a recognition that I was very fortunate, you know. I didn't come from a wealthy family. My mother was a teacher. My dad was a civil servant who worked as a lawyer and then eventually became a magistrate. Um, but at least I was able to get three meals a day and I got to go to school. 
point. And because of that, I realized how fortunate I was. There were so many people in Africa who didn't even have that. They didn't even have a basic roof over their heads. They didn't get three meals a day. They weren't able to go to school. So I, I kept thinking, why am I so lucky to have these opportunities? And over time, I, the only way I came to justify my luck was to say, maybe I'm being given these options so I can help others. Right? The only way I can justify my privilege, because I realized I was privileged, was that I would then use my opportunities to serve others and to create change in the world and to do hard things, right? to solve the big problems. That's the only way that I can justify my privilege. So all of you on this Zoom call are privileged. The fact that you have electricity to, be, to even be on this call, the fact that you have a laptop, you have a device, the fact that you are able to you have data means you're on the top 5%, 10% of society in terms of, you know, yeah, social economic status and things like that, right? You've been given great opportunities. You Not everyone got a chance to get the funding um, to get the um, training without paying for it like you're getting from, from us and from MasterCard Foundation. You are being you are very lucky to have all these investments. In you. So you are, the only way that you can justify this privilege that you have is by doing hard things. And that's the challenge we have to say, you know, Africa doesn't have time to waste. You've been given all these great opportunities so that you can bring up others. You can solve problems. Right, solve our problems in healthcare, solve our problems in education, solve our problems in infrastructure. Use your talents to change the continent of Africa. That's why we're investing in you, and that's why we want you to be part of this movement, this moonshot for talent. Right, and that's what we mean by doing hard things. How do I do hard things? I surround myself with great people who can help me do hard things. People like Gavin, and all these amazing people that I get to work with every day. Right, who are my partners. I can't do this by, by myself, so I always make sure I'm surrounded by great people. Um, and I and I spend about fifty percent of my time hiring, so I can find amazing people that can help me do these things. And um, I always remember why I'm doing my work. I, I have a purpose that I live for, right? And that purpose is what always brings me back when I when I meet an obstacle and I fall down and, and something doesn't work. Um, I, I when I remember why I'm trying to do this, it gives me energy. Right? And, 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 I, and I live to fight another day and I, and I pick myself up and I keep going because I'm like, this thing that I'm working on is worth all the hassles and the trouble and everything to make it work, right? And so you must have something bigger than yourself that you're working towards, right? If you're just working to make yourself rich and to become famous and whatever, whatever, you're going to lose interest when the going gets tough, right? Because those things are not worth it. They're not as worth it as living for something bigger than yourself and something that's really going to make a difference. And so try and do something that is meaning, that is that you're passionate about, that you love, and that you're so excited about doing that it keeps you going, right? You need some that, that passion and and, the, and, the, and, the, and having a high purpose as well. You keep you, keep you going through those tough times. And, and that's why community that you're part of. That's why the room community is so important. If you're part of a great community of other family, and we have pathfinders and all the people that you're meeting. So build the relationships with people that you're meeting in these pro training programs. They will be your partners to help you go through all the difficult times and to help you access opportunities, open doors, and that way you can make it through and that you too can do hard things. It's beautifully said. And remember, guys, the, 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 the mission you set yourselves, the brick you said you're going to lay, right to Caribou. Go back to that uh, letter you wrote to yourself or, or that, that statement you made, the change you want to see in Africa. That's the driver. That's that's the character to look for as you go forward. There's a good uh, question here about if I get other jobs, do I have to report all my jobs or just the job that I connected with through the room? We want to know all the jobs that you're getting, right? Whether the room found it for you or you found it for yourself because... Um, the, you know, MasterCard wants to know that the investments they're making are paying off. So even if you got a job on your own, you probably use the resume that we helped you to create. You probably use the skills that you learned in this program. You probably use the networks that you got through the program. So it all counts towards the goal, right? So we want to know all the jobs. If you found a job on your own or you found it through a platform or your path, find it, introduce you to it. Let us know when you got a job. And you'll get, you can earn some legacy points, right? More importantly, we can help MasterCard to see that, hey, you're succeeding, right? And uh, and we can start to, to manage our collective impact. Let's all get together to change the content of Africa. Let's show what we can do when young people take you know, action and, and are serious and put in the effort and say, hey, you know, we created 2 million jobs in, in 10 years for the continent of Africa, right? So we want to know um, when you've, um, you know, um, you know, because... 
uh, you know, remember, we're investing a lot in you, right? And and the least you can do is tell us when that, when you've been successful, right? So that we can actually see, you know, wow, okay, is this thing, is this thing working, right? So I'm seeing a lot of questions here about, um, you know, uh, I completed the VA program, not yet in the room. I've paid past successfully in joining the graduation. Can one join the room many times, like a VA room and an SE room? <laughs> no, there's one room. There's one room, one fellowship. Um, and uh, there are, you, you know, if you've done multiple training programs, if you did financial analyst and then you did, then yes, you could be on the employer portals where they can see your profile, both on the virtual assistant profile for employers, another one they can see also in other platforms. But on the room community, you're just one person, right? And uh, it's one platform. And, uh, you know, as you do different programs, you get different skills, um, you know, you will continue to be in that same um, platform. Um, I see a question from Derek Mukuli. Will we get jobs as we continue learning or do we finish the entire program first? Again, you're not getting a job. <laughs> we are not guaranteeing you a job. Let me say that again. You're not getting a job. You will get a job for yourself, right? No one is going to give you a job. You have to go and find it. You have to do the job search. Now, we will be one of the partners that I might recommend opportunities for you if you're on the platform and you're full fellow. You might see some of the opportunities that come from as we advertise the room and people come and they, they post jobs. But that's just the first step. You still have to go to the interview. You have to make sure your profiles are up to date. And then if you go through all the steps, then yes, you can get a job for yourself and we can help you to get a job, but no one is giving you a job, right? <laughs> um, and uh, so you have to keep, and yeah, you can start applying for jobs already, right? You don't have to wait until the program is finished, right? You can start applying for jobs already, um, but the jobs that we can bring, that we might be able to, you know, connect you to and help you to apply for, you will only do that if you have finished the training program, because then we can, we are more comfortable about your skills. Remember when we go out, and we say, this is top talent. We are putting our reputation on the line. We are saying to people, hey, we vetted these people. We trust them. They've been through our, our programs. They passed it. So we cannot make that claim if you haven't finished the program, right? Uh, we cannot make that claim if you haven't created your profile and we don't have information, right? So therefore, um, you know, we want you to understand that. Where do the in-person events typically take place? Coco, Pambo. They'll be happening in different cities, some of them will be in our spaces, in our, in our, in our members' uh, spaces. Some of them will be in a place that we rent for a day, for an afternoon. They'll be happening or in different places. Um, what I say is, there's, a quick, there's a question about entrepreneurs. So like you do, you support VA. We have a VA program, an FA program, SC program. Is there an entrepreneurial program for startup people who are starting startups? Great question. Um, yes. Um, you know, then sub communities within the room, right? So one of the sub communities is going to be around entrepreneurship. There'll be content for entrepreneurs. There'll be, you know, we're also trying to attract investors, right? Just like for those who have gotten skills like VA and FA and software engineering, we'll be trying to tell our employers, hey, come and find talent in the room. But we're also going on trying to find investors who want to invest in young people to start businesses. And then we also let them know, hey, you know, come in, um, and uh, and see, um, you know potential young entrepreneurs here. I'll show you a platform that we have in the room. It's called Global Finder Africa. This is a platform just for entrepreneurs, right? And um, I'll show you what that looks like. So this is a platform, it's also part of the room, where we're showcasing all the top startups in Africa, right? So investors can come here and they can find, you know, there's right now 2,600 companies. As more and more young people finish the ALX Young Entrepreneur Training Program and they start businesses, the best ones can come onto this platform, especially those ones who are leveraging technology, right? We have 807 investors who are in this platform and some hubs and so forth. So you can see trends, what's happening in different sectors. People are investing a lot into fintech. A billion dollars has gone to fintech this year. Now. Smart mobility, last mile, renewable energy. You can see the places where investors are putting their money. Right, fintech, agri business, edtech, and so forth. Here's data about the deals that are opening. You know, there's some media. That's me. Um, this is a profile of one of our young entrepreneurs. This guy's an ALU graduate from two years ago. He started a company called uh, Rwazi. He now has twenty thousand employees. Right, so he's on this platform. Right, 
So now investors can come here and as you can, if you're looking for investors, you can see different types of investors. You know, you want venture.